Today we will talk about Truganini, a Tasmania Aborigine. Truganini, also known as Lala Rook, born around 1812, was a full-blooded Aboriginal Tasmanian woman. Truganini saw thousands of her own kind perish following colonization. To avoid death, she organized expeditions to capture and kill Tasmanian Aborigines. She then became involved in armed resistance against the colonists. The British classed the Tasmanian Aborigines as an inferior race and wanted them eradicated. Truganini was born when the British had started to colonize the region that she and her parents were living in and disrupting their traditional practices. British sailors stabbed her mother to death. Her two older sisters were kidnapped and sold. Her fiancé was also murdered. Ration stations were created and run by a George August Robinson who was impressed with Truganini's intelligence. The two worked to attract other Aborigines, however, due to violence many diseases killed off the Aborigines leaving only a handful. Robinson and Truganini went on a mission to befriend Aborigines and exile them to one location. During their expeditions, they had captured several Aborigines. Robinson was rewarded with land grants and money, whilst Truganini was awarded cotton dresses. Robinson and Truganini continued on their expeditions until they rallied all the indigenous people and placed them together in one place. Truganini soon became a celebrity and a sculpture of her was made by a Benjamin Law. All the indigenous people, including Truganini, were exiled to Wibbelena Aboriginal Establishment on Flinders Island, a facility built by the British government who forcibly exiled all Aborigines from Tasmania. Robinson began to christen all the inmates, changing their names, forcing them to wear Eastern clothing, and prohibiting them from practicing their culture. When Truganini died in 1876, she was buried at Cascades and requested for her ashes to be scattered in D'Entrecasteaux Channel. In 1904, her body was exhumed and her skeleton displayed at the Royal Society of Tasmania until 1947. Her remains were finally cremated and scattered according to her wishes. In 2002, some of her skin and hair were found in a collection at the Royal College of Surgeons of England and returned for burial. In 1997, the Royal Albert Memorial Museum in Exeter, England returned her necklace and bracelet to Tasmania. The bust that was made of Truganini was about to be auctioned off at Sotheby's in Melbourne, but the Aboriginal community successfully stopped the auction. What do you think of Truganini? Was she a traitor to her own people by helping Robinson locate and exile the rest of the indigenous people? Should she have protected her own kind? What are your thoughts on this matter?